Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for another Elite Dangerous in VR video. I am doing a short one here just to communicate some information that I found out about Steam VR and some settings which might be of benefit to anybody who's having VR performance issues like I was. Um, I upgraded my video card a little while ago from a 1070 to a 1080 and I thought well given the fact that the car is about 20% faster I'll be able to turn lots of things on and turn all the textures up and stuff like that. Um, and that was the case for a little while while I was out in deep space doing my um, doing my VR series there. Um, but as soon as I got back to civilization and I started hanging around in starports and in asteroid fields, I was getting an absolute shit ton of frame rate drop, and I was pushing about 30 frames a second, and it, the, the game was just horrible and unbearable, which was surprising given that I hadn't had these problems before. So I started suspecting an update of some kind. Um, and to make sure, I just um, set all my, my graphic settings to the absolute bare minimum and still found that I was getting uh, poor frame rate. So um, it turns out that there was an update in Steam VR a little while ago which added asynchronous reprojection. And um, this is um, something which has been anticipated for a while and it actually helps performance. However, um, what I found is if you go into this Steam settings window and uh, go into the performance, there's those two little checkbox options at the bottom. So one is allow asynchronous and the other one is allow interleaved. So the for me, the interleaved one was ticked as well. And when I turned this off, when I unchecked that box, um, the frame rate got a lot better. So here I am in an astro field and um, I've just been testing this scenario now. So I've got some better graphic settings as well so I've turned all my textures up again and I'm having no problems whatsoever now it's all nice and smooth I've got around about 60 frames a second um, and if I fly real close to this anaconda let's check out its textures and they all look pretty good lots of lots of nice detail there um, I've actually got my anti-aliasing turned right up as well so I'm having no problems there either now um, one part of this problem that I thought might be my CPU. Oh, hello. Who's scanning me? Let's go and test. Let's go and test some combat. Actually, that will be a, a nice segue into my next point. Um, so yeah, I suspected that my CPU might be bottlenecking it, but it is a 4790 clocked at 4.4 gigahertz and i7. So why would it be doing that all of a sudden? I don't know. Um, but it turned out that this. Um, allow interleaved reprojection was also mucking around with the interaction with other ships so for example if I was doing this before I'd made that fix I would be having a right old nightmare but now I can report that it's lovely and smooth and according to the FPS counter down at the bottom of the screen there it's chucking out around 60-ish between 50 and 60-ish um, which is great which is nice and smooth so that's all I really need to make the experience of the game within VR nice and smooth. I don't need it to be any higher than that, although it does end up going higher, but that's really cool. I'll go over the um, graphic settings in a bit, but first of all, let's go and have a fly around a station. Right, so here I am at a station, and this was another area of uh, content for me. Content? No, contempt. This is another area of contempt for me with the uh, the, the previous setup. So I was uh, certainly very uncontented with the way it was handling. So I'm just going to go for a uh, a little jolly around this superstructure of the starport and keep an eye on my frame rate here. So yeah, it's doing about 80, nearly 90 FPS, and it all feels lovely and smooth. And I couldn't do this before; it was just utterly awful. So just blast my ship through these structures. So I still have got some of my um, my graphic settings on low, but I've kind of been mucking around with them for quite a long time and figured out which ones make the most difference. So yeah, my frame rate's stable, it's a, it's, it's a good 80, 89 FPS there. So these places are generally quite a lot of activity in them, and um, I'm thinking that 
that was mucking around with my frame rate before, but now it's all good. So let's go and dock, see what the inside of it does, because once more the inside of the starport, particularly with lots of traffic, were, uh, was um, causing me trouble. So even in the hangar, I can gladly report that um, there's no problems in here either. Um, so, regarding my graphic settings. So, my texture quality is high, shadow quality is low, bloom is off, although I could probably turn that on. Um, blur is off, anti-aliasing is at SMAA. Super sampling are 1 because I've got the 1.5 on Steam VR, I mean occlusion off, environment quality is high and FX quality is high, depth of field is off because my eyes do it for me, I don't need the game to do it. Um, reflection quality is low, material quality is medium, I could probably get away with pushing that up a little higher actually. Um, the image quality HMD is 1, galaxy map low because it doesn't matter and the terrain and all of the terrain ones here are set to high. I think I can run some of those at Ultra probably, but high is good. So I'm going to actually change this while I'm here. Because I don't think that that will make much difference to my frame rates. And I can usually tell, even when the menu's open, if I just move my head around, I can tell if I'm getting significant drop, but I'm not. So great. Um, all right, well, that I'll leave the video there. So hopefully it was helpful if any of you are having similar problems with um, Elite Dangerous in VR. Um, just go go and check your Steam VR settings and see if that helps you. Um, thanks for watching, and I shall catch you next time.